All right, today I'm going to do a simple phone directory using uh, drop-down lists and VLOOKUPs in Excel. So uh, I'm going to put my f name that I want to look up and find the phone number in G2, and the phone number I'm going to return in G3. But rather than just typing the name I want in G2, I want to make sure I don't make a typo and not find the uh, input I'm looking for, so I'm going to create a drop-down list. To do that, select all the data you want to be an option in the drop-down list, right-click, define name, give it a name, in this case I'm just going to call it names, Hit, click OK, then go to where you want the drop-down list to appear, and go to data, uh, where did it go, data validation, and then list for a drop-down list and the source is going to be that variable we just assigned which is equals names. And There very simply you have a drop-down list with all that data as an option. Now to use VLOOKUP to find that phone number based on the name we're going to go to the formulas tab, look up and reference, VLOOKUP. And the way VLOOKUP works you provide a value that you're going to look up uh, in this case it's going to be the name that we're going to put in that column G3 or G2 I'm sorry then you select the table array that's going to contain that original lookup value along with the new value that you're trying to find so in this case this whole array uh, contains the names that we're looking up and then the phone number that we want to return uh, it could have potentially been the cost center uh, if you were doing this uh, for a different purpose. Then you provide the column index number. So no matter what these numbers are here, you just count the columns. And this is the column you want to return. So one, two, three. So we want to return column two here. Doesn't matter you know, if these are H through J or whatever. You always just count you know, from the left wherever your data starts and then select the index a number that you want to return. So, And then the range lookup, I've never found uh, a reason personally to use true, but basically the, the values are true or false, and um, basically it's a uh, exact match is equal to false, or in a, like a approximate match is true. Um, never really found a reason for an approximate match, but you may find that in your your work at some point but we're just going to go with false here and we're going to say okay right now it's uh, NA because we don't have an actual name selected but if we select one we can see that we have now looked up the phone number and in this case you know it's a pretty small spreadsheet but it, c it could be much longer and then you could easily look up a, a value in a large spreadsheet very quickly using this uh, method thanks for watching